We've been blessed with a number of murals that have been painted throughout our community, and several other monuments signifying our recognition of certain people that have made a, a huge contribution to our community. But my friends, there's nothing like this. Today we gather to commemorate a monumental milestone in the history of our city. 60 years have passed since the great Martin Luther King Jr. graced Fort Wayne with his powerful words, which will forever be etched here in our pillars of hope and justice. Today, as we stand on the cusp of unveiling this long-awaited monument, we are reminded of the significance of Dr. King's message. His words echoing through the halls of history, continuing to inspire, to strive for equality, justice, and unity. His legacy serves as a beacon of hope guiding us on an ongoing fight for more inclusive and equitable society. This monument is more than just a structure of stone and metal. It symbolizes our commitment to carry forth Dr. King's legacy to ensure that his dream lives on the hearts and minds of future generations. What more powerful inspiration could my children have than to know Dr. King was here, the words were spoken here, that part of the dream was imparted here. My daughter, my son, the children here, and the next generation still need to be inspired by Dr. King's dream. As scripture says, how good and pleasant it is when brothers and sisters dwell together in unity. And indeed, as Dr. King spoke here 60 years ago, we have discovered that love works miracles. May the next generation find this to be true. It's so easy to celebrate Dr. King. It takes energy to replicate Dr. King. And so we certainly hope that as much as this program and this monument, as marvelous and momentous as it is, and as unique as it is, that maybe it will serve as an impetus to move us, yes, to Dr. King's beloved community. But it's an ongoing process if we're going to reach the promised land. Come on, those of you that aren't standing, stand to your feet. Let's welcome my friend, brother beloved, brother Martin Luther King III. They are monuments, statues, and honors uh, availed to my dad and mom now. Really, many places around the nation and world. But I think, to my knowledge, this is one of the first that has the words of his message that was done in this community. Darkness, he said, cannot put out darkness. Only light. Yes, only light. Violence will not ever stamp out violence. Only love. Nonviolence will stamp out violence. I need to stop because I would have said my whole. Uh, <laughs>